What's going on guys? Welcome to another high quality, amazing video of Alex Sidor here. And today I have a few questions that we'll be going over. Some of them are engineering related, others are a little bit more personal. So with all that being said, let's jump right into it. And the first question that I have here is, what is the easiest engineering field? For those of you who are watching for the first time, I have a mechanical engineering background. I've been on the field for approximately 10 years and I graduated from Virginia Tech. Now, I remember when I was in engineering school, there was one major that it wasn't just mechanical, but it was electrical, it was chemical, it was aerospace. All these other majors would pick on this one engineering field, and that is industrial systems engineering. I've never taken industrial systems engineering hardcore classes, but hey, a lot of people say that is industrial systems engineering. Even industrial systems engineering engineers themselves, they say, yeah, our major is pretty easy. Like it's a combination of business and engineering. It's not as technical. It's a little bit more hybrid per se. And to be honest, just because it's easy, hey, allegedly, it doesn't mean that it's useless. Let's, let me make that very, very clear because this information is going to come a little handier once I go to the next question, which is, what is the most underrated engineering field? Okay, so the next question is, where are you from originally? I'm originally from the city of Lima in Peru. Big city, approximately one third of the people from Peru, at least back then when I was in Peru, one third of the whole population of the country was in the city of Lima. It's very spread out. If you think of LA, if you think of, it's it, when I go to LA, it reminds me a little bit of Lima, some parts of Lima, Peru. Of course, not, not the whole thing, not the billboards and everything, but definitely reminds me of that Lima vibe. If you have ever been to Italy, it also reminds me of Naples, which is not the prettiest, at least the parts that I've seen, they're not the prettiest parts of Naples that I've seen and they kind of reminded me of some parts of Lima. It's a big city, so you have your highs, you got your lows, you got your middle income areas, you got your very like upper class, like very, very like wealthy people. And then you also have, of course, like the poor, the poor people, which is kind of like where I used to hang out. <laughs> okay. So the next question that we have here is what are your hobbies? Hobbies. Oh boy. Okay. So I do enjoy going to the gym. It's almost become a habit, a hobby, a hobby. <laughs> I do enjoy moving, whether it is hiking. End of the hike. Oh, it's a little chipmunk. <laughs> so this is the view, one of the views to our first hike. This is what is this called? Afghan 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 Fire Trail? Afghan Lookout. Oh, Afghan Lookout. <laughs> I just enjoy being active. So whatever it is that is going to get me sweating, it's going to get me moving, it's going to increase my mental clarity, then I'm all down for it. That's my hobby. Also, I read books. I read self-development, personal development, philosophy, uh, psychology, from which I learn very little every time I read a book. When we read a book, a lot of the times, one thing that I want to point out is like, we think that we have to learn every single thing that, that is on the book. But if you can pick up one idea or two ideas that you didn't know before, I think the time is going to be well worth it the next question that we have here celebrity crush oh, celebrity crush oh boy uh honestly i don't really have celebrity crushes it's not i'm not really too into celebrities overall however if you talk about social media personalities and by social media personalities i mean uh, people that are in the self-development world people from whom i've learned a great deal i have an enormous amount of gratitude for for those people such as the case you guys have heard me talk about this man many times dr jordan peterson he's influenced my life have very heavily so if i had it in front of me and actually let me tell you a quick story because i did have him in front of me back in when I, a couple of years ago my wife it was for my birthday my wife got me a couple of tickets to go see Dr. Jordan Peterson here in Baltimore, Maryland. And we are 45 minutes away from in there. So we just decided, okay, let's go check it out. I got very excited. He was probably about a hundred feet away from me. We were in the upper part of the whole auditorium. There was a ton of people. It was sold out. It's funny because it wasn't a show. It was a talk, but it was very engaging for me, at least for the, the, the type of topics that he was talking about. Another person that I would definitely, it's not, he's not really a crush, but a, who I would definitely look forward to meeting and who would like to meet is David Goggins. He's got this reputation of being so badass. Like I would love to work, go work out with him, but yeah, so that's pretty much it when it comes to celebrity crushes. <laughs> okay. Favorite movie, hands down, Fast and the Furious. And you guys may be a little bit, well, well what do you mean, man? That's a horrible movie. I just grew up watching Fast and the Furious. The first movie from Fast and the Furious that I watched 
watched <laughs> was in 2000 and ever since i started growing up of course the more movies started coming out now we are in the number nine i definitely want 10 movies at least okay major interests my major as i mentioned is mechanical engineering my interests are they've actually decreased over the years and i think that's a good thing because the more interest you have then the more distracted you can become so nowadays my interests are self-development self-growth uh engineering learning helping young people overcome their obstacles uh, it's kind of weird for an engineer right like i always thought when i was much younger in engineering like oh my god like philosophy it's so useless psychology is so useless but over the years i've come to realize that actually those subjects help you develop as a human being not just mentally but also they help you guide you through the path of life per se which do you think is the easiest engineering field i already answered that one which do you think it's the most underrated engineering field okay this is a good question and you guys remember in the beginning of the video today, I talked about the easiest engineering field. Now, there's two underrated fields that I want to mention here. And that one of the things that happens when we go to engineering school, we take pride in things being very difficult, right? Like the, the harder your engineering field it is, Sometimes like the more pride you have in the major and hey, I <laughs> trust me, I've been there. That's understandable. A hundred percent in college. I remember we used, we tended to make fun of the ISCs, the industrial systems engineers, but then actually what ends up happening is industrial systems engineering is one of the most versatile fields. It doesn't matter whether it's easy, whether it's technical, whether it's hard, it doesn't matter. Industrial sciences engineers can work with mechanical engineers, with electrical engineers, with civil engineers. Along my career, I work with many of them at every single stage of, it doesn't matter what I was doing, whether it was research and development, whether it was design, whether it was technical, technical work, project management, a systems engineer was involved in the process in one way or another. That's perhaps one of the reasons why the United States Bureau of Labor Statistics projects systems engineering to be growing almost twice as fast as the average rate about at approximately 10% growth in the next 10 years. This stat may be a little unexpected to some of you guys, but yeah, industrial systems engineers, they're very versatile. They can get into almost into any industry. And the other one that recently I uh, started picking up more, although you technically don't need an engineering degree to become one of these engineers it's sales engineering i made a couple of sales engineering videos in the past and actually they're one of the most viewed videos that i've made and i talked to uh tanner a sales engineer mechanical engineer in background software industry and he and the, during the conversation that we had he mentioned that hey sales engineering is pretty lucrative and it has a lot of potential so let me know in the comments below what you think of these two fields industrial systems engineering and sales engineering all right the favorite podcast uh i don't listen to that many but definitely uh sometimes joe rogan depending on depending on the guests that is there uh elon musk of course uh <laughs> that's one of the most viewed shows uh the naval the naval or naval robocon uh, episode on the Joe Rogan podcast is also pretty awesome and then what's another uh podcast I don't really I, it comes in waves uh, I don't listen to podcasts on a daily basis I, I listen to audiobooks uh it's kind of like a podcast really because you just I just go for a walk and listen to audiobooks so that's kind of uh what I do for audio information the last question that we have here is tell me a place where you love to go when you're feeling sad oh this is a good one the gym a hundred percent a hundred percent no questions asked the gym is a place where i go when i'm feeling sad when i'm feeling angry when i'm feeling stressed out i go to the gym and i just you just bring all the weights and then you just start doing some cardio and then you get your heart rate up and then you listen to the music you get into it oh yeah that's that's how i go and decompress per se that's my uh <laughs> that's my decompression chamber let's put it that way okay so if you want to know more about sales engineering though go watch this video right here where i tell you everything that you need to know from getting started and also watch the interview with tanner sales engineer that i'm going to be linking in the description of this video thank you guys for being here i appreciate you take care peace